Hello, lovely folks. My name's Avneet. I'm a, a vet and an artist working in the UK. And I wanted to kind of just confess that I need to decompress. I am not a hero. I'm a vet and I'm just not a hero. Okay? I'm weak. As you can probably imagine, being a vet is pretty demanding as a job. It takes up so much time, it takes up so much energy, it takes up so much of your empathy. And honestly, having a very stable relationship with your work can be pretty challenging. It's very easy for boundaries to be overstretched when you work in veterinary, you know, like, can you work this shift? Can you stay a little bit later? You know, if you go home now, you know, the patients won't have any care. Can you stick around? There's a lot of that. There was a really unfortunate statistic that said that I think it was nearly 70% of people working within veterinary are likely to lose a colleague to suicide, which oh, it's horrendous. I also want to acknowledge that it is an incredible, incredible job. Like there are days where I'm like, how the hell am I doing this? This is so cool. So yeah, not all doom and gloom, but you need to break the rat race, okay? You need to break it, you need to loosen yourself up a little bit, you need to make some boundaries. You need to make some boundaries with your career. And equally boundaries with making money. I think, you know, as with any job, I, I've turned down work and been like, you know what, I'm just not going to go anywhere this month or I'm not going to, you know, do anything fancy. I'm just going to chill in my own company and save money. And I've been happier doing that because I take a lot of pride in the simple things in life. Um, I take a lot of pride in cooking, in family, in friends, um, in yoga, exercise. And my yoga and exercise is inexpensive. Like you literally just need a yoga mat. You don't need need a gym membership. You can go to a park, use a pull-up bar. Like you're good. Like I would, I would happily turn away money to be happy. It's hard to spend money when you're ill or dead. If you're less angry and frustrated with your own life, you probably, you turn up to work really happy and you're really, you do a better job. Like I'm all about, be, when you're at work, you want to do a good job and I'm all for that. And, you know, having a sensible boundary is a really great way of making sure that you are your best self when you finally walk into the wall zone, you know? I suppose my three main tips to take away with you today are, are the following. Number one, don't overpromise work. Be sensible with how much you can do. Don't overshoot it, you're absolutely fine. Number two, when you're in work, delegate. If there's something that needs to be done and you're off shift in a few hours, it's very, very likely that a very competent colleague of yours can take it. So, you know, shifts are shifts, work is work, and get the hell out of there. What are you doing? Go home. And lastly, which I think is a really, a really important one is just enjoy the simple things, you know, enjoy cooking. Don't treat them as like an extra work thing that you do outside of work and then you feel bad for yourself because you're like, meh, I have to cook. No, that's a job. It's a job and you need to treat it with the same respect that you treat your normal job with. And, you know, and that creates space outside of work that is absolutely mandatory. And I think that is a really good way of keeping a, a balance which you can reason with yourself over. And then who knows, once you've got that balance down, maybe you'll be inspired. Maybe you'll have extra time to do other things that make you really happy. Like who knows? But I think first you need to have um, really good boundaries, set a really, really nice work boundary. And then, you know, you're more open to the world and more open to opportunities. So I think I've done with my rant. <laughs> Thank you for putting up with this. <laughs> Um, I hope you're all having a lovely day wherever you are and I will catch you in the next video. Bye!